Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Triumph.vlog, the behind the scenes vlog of building out my, my new company. Today is we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, as I talked about yesterday, I just have like a lot of like behind the scenes coding to do in Ruby on Rails. And specifically today I was setting up a few different cron jobs. Uh, cron jobs, cron jobs, I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. Cron jobs it is for today. Um, just kind of some behind the scenes stuff, gathering data and just running different scripts I need to run for my AI or for the whole for the whole program to function. So I want to make a video showing you an easy way, uh, the easiest way to automate Chrome jobs in Rails or to integrate Chrome jobs with Ruby on, Ruby on Rails. Uh, it took a little Googling around to find this uh, solution and then I had to do a little bit of configing to get it work. So I thought I'd make a short video run through. Maybe if you're if you search for this, it'll run, you'll find it and uh, might save somebody some time in the future. So, step one, how to run Chrome jobs in Ruby on Rails. Well, the first thing you want to do is you're going to use this excellent gem called Whenever by Javon. Maybe Yvonne, I have no idea. I set up a little Rails test app here as per the advice of Justin Weiss, whose uh, book I recommended yesterday, and I'll link him in the description below. So first thing I'm going to do is in to install the whenever gem. So you can either put it and stick it in your gem file or uh, just do it the old fashioned way on the command line. I'm going to let that install. Oh, it's so much fun to watch a gem install it. It just oh, salts my ocean. I don't know about you. Next thing I'm going to do is run this little command whenever eyes dot in your uh, the root directory of your app. And all that does is it just sets up a config file. You can see right there, writing config scheduled RB. Sets up config file, a uh, schedule file in your config directory. So the next thing you want to do is you want to edit that big, fat, juicy schedule file. And voila, to do. Uh, I don't know, to do something interesting. So the cool thing about the, uh, if you look over here on my Emacs, my text editor screen, uh, the really cool thing about this, it's super easy to customize. Uh, you set your environment, you can just set your error logs, um, set your path, you don't necessarily have to do all these things. Uh, and then you can then you can configure uh, whenever to run at different time of it, different times, you know, days, hours, uh, minutes. You could also set it to run every Monday or every day or whatever, and specify. You can see right here, even specify a specific time of day. Uh, the different commands that are available uh, include running Rails runner scripts. You can run rake tasks. You can just run like you know old fashioned bash commands, or you can define custom jobs right here. You can see I had to make this custom runner job. I just you know, some little tweak. For some reason, I couldn't get the normal runner to work, so I had to just kind of hack around it. Probably my own uh, lack of coding sophistication, but nonetheless, we forge on heroes as we are. So I'm just going to stick something in here and hope if it works, and if it doesn't, then uh, whatever. So every one minute, do uh, commands echo cow you're the greatest just in case I'm feeling down and I need a little a little pick me up and, and then shut that down and then step four after you uh, after you edit your uh, your schedule.rb file you need to let whenever know that uh, yeah anytime anytime you add anything to that schedule.rb file or edit anything you have to run this command right here. Whenever dash dash update dash cron tab, and it'll go through and check there and uh, schedule your task. Is cron tab file updated? So now we want to just double check that our cron tab is running. Oh, excuse me, that's a uh, singular, not plural. So cron tab l run it. Uh, beginner to do this. So we can see right here, I have these different, oops. well, I'm going to have to edit out because I have, <laughs> I, it, actually, it turns out that this, uh, whenever it shows you, I guess it'll show all the Chrome tabs you have, or all the tasks you have running, uh, 
for all your Rails apps, but nonetheless. So if you see a blurry screen right there, it's just because I have some proprietary proprietary stuff right there. Uh, right here, Echo Cow, you are the greatest. It's going to run every single minute. Isn't that just lovely? And that's it. That's how easy it is to uh, integrate Chrome or Chrome uh, Chrome jobs in your Rails app using the Whatever Gym. Gym. So uh, link to everything in the description below. Any questions? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So you don't stack, stack overflow like every self-respecting programmer does. All right. Cheers, guys. See you tomorrow. Kyle outs.